idea. And she got up, went to the kitchen drawer, rummaged through all the stuff, took a light in her hand because there were pencils and nails in there, and she got a roll of scotch tape. She took the scotch tape and she taped up the dollar bill and she presented it to me and she said, Daddy, this dollar now has value. And she defied the experts. And what Maya did made me cry. And that's what winning looks like for each and every one of you in your leadership life. You gotta defy the experts. There are people in your life, some of them might live in the same house that you live in, that say you can't do what you're doing or what you're attempting to do. What you going up to host those community college for them? What are you taking that leadership class for? You can't do it. And so many of you have shared that the reason why you are in school is because you want to help people. There are people out there that feel like that ripped up dollar bill that's waiting for you to use your talent, your gift, for you to stop stalling on your calling to just jump in. That dollar bill is in my journal from uh, 2011, and that's where it stays as a reminder that we can defy the odds as leaders. This is Leadership Goal. Leadership Goal, this is a book, and I haven't said this throughout my uh, presentation, which is coming to a close, is that readers are leaders. And leaders are readers. You want to improve your leadership skills? Yes, there's real life experience. But read. Read leadership books. One of those books is called Heroic Leadership. And Chris Lowney says that leaders imagine an inspiring future and strive to shape it rather than passively watching the future happen around them. Heroes extract gold from the opportunities at hand rather than waiting for golden opportunities to be handed to them. And I close with a challenge for you, each and every one of you, male and female, to discover your G-spot and become a gold digger. Not that G-spot. Homeboy was sleeping. He woke up, <laughs> ready for lunch. He ain't ready for lunch. Nah, I'm not talking about that G-spot. That's a different workshop. What I'm talking about, your G-spot is your gift spot. It's your great spot. It's your genius spot. For some of us, it's our God spot. I call it your gold spot because you have a treasure inside of And that treasure is not going to come out by itself. And I will end, as I always end, first with thank you, Juicy Jason, for once again inviting me. <laughs> but sharing and closing with my gold poem. And it goes like this. If ever there was a time for you to dig deep within, it is now if only you would decide and begin. Mining your soul for your buried gold is why you are here, so dig deep and be bold. It is your purpose, your life's divine mission. It is your calling, so just get still and listen. And you will hear an old so sweet sound telling you where your goal can be found. And you'll be wise and not let another moment fly by, because the day will come when you'll surely die. Mm. Then the question for you will resoundingly be, did you dig deep for your goal for the world to see? Mining your soul for your very goal is why you are here. So dig deep and be bold. It's been an honor being with you all today. It's been a challenge for each and every one of you to discover your G spot, become a gold digger, stop stalling on your calling. One of my rallying cries in the work that I lead is there's no cavalry coming to save the day. We are the iconic leaders that we have been waiting for. Thank you.
curators of the change we want to see. That's what happens in deep end leadership. That's what happens when you stop stalling on your calling and just jump in. Thank you. Thank you.